Hello, everyone. This is Ami Eccles Irwin from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the assistant director of the Texas Short Film Festival. Right now, we're gearing up for our fall 2023 screening, which is going to take place on October 15th, sorry, October 14th, at Slab Cinema Art House in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and today, I'm talking with one of our participating filmmakers. Arthur Curland is the director behind Hot Mess Academy. Arthur, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Hi, thank you for inviting me. Glad and to I be love here. the Alamo Film Group. Uh, logo that is your uh, production group that's correct awesome uh, well so tell me what inspired hot mess academy well it was actually a 48 uh, hour film challenge for, uh, during the san antonio 48 hour project and uh yeah that was just the the genre we picked was comedy uh school film and we put it together for for the 48 and um, you know, we're, con we're constrained by time. So we decided to create a director's cut uh, to submit to film festivals and, and that's what we did. Excellent. Uh, well, one thing I really like is uh, how, how stressful the humor is. From the, from the first beat to the end, there's just this high intensity. Uh, how did you, you kind of work to create that? Well, fortunately we had a great lead actress, uh, Susan Wilder, uh, who really brought that Jim Timley, Jill Timley character to life. And uh, so, you know, that's kind of what I do is just let people do what they do and, and trust that they, they know what they're doing. And it really turned out well for us. Totally. No, I, I, she really kept up that high energy, high intensity. It was great. Uh, and tell me, what was it like working with also such young actors? Oh, it's great. It keeps me young. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love it. Um, you know, that's kind of another thing that I live by is just surround myself with people who are smarter than me, know more than I do. And uh, it just helps make me look good. Excellent. <laughs> well, I, I love their sort of uh, cynical voice of reason uh, characters, uh, you know, especially in the face of all the chaos. Um yeah, I'm kind of interested. Uh, one facet of it is the fact that they're homeschooled. I'm curious if there, if that was just a kind of a location constraint, or is there something maybe in in future episodes potentially that, that you'd be exploring there? Well, that would be great if if we did do um, you know a sequel. Um, but in this case, yes, we were kind of constrained by the location and also by you know what we picked uh, as a genre was a school film as well. So. We kind of had to put that together. Okay, and I, totally. I attribute that to our awesome writers. Um, Selena Igwe was lead writer and, uh, and Lance Thomas. Excellent. Uh, so, you know, you made this as part of a 48 hour film and uh, uh, pretty canonically 48 hour films are extremely stressful to make. What was the onset process like? Was it that uh, Russian stress, uh, you know, Russian rust out stress or was it, was it chilled out? Was it fun? What was that like for you? It was a lot of fun. I mean, we did, you know, assembled the team early. Uh, we met a few times. We had a plan, a game plan going in, and that really made things uh, much smoother. Um, it was a great set. Like you said, a lot of energy, had a lot of fun, um, and I would definitely do it again. And if the cast and crew wanted to do a sequel, I, I'd be all in on that. Awesome. Well, it's good to hear that a 48 hour uh, was made in, in amicable uh, situations and not just full, full on stress. Uh, so what did you learn from this process? What did you take away? What kind of insights uh, do you have on the craft of filmmaking now? Well, I kind of, you know, you know, like you said, um, I'm working with the younger crowd. I'm obviously, you know, of the older crowd. So uh, I have a lot of experience uh, in in management and a lot of life experience. So, you know, I, I kind of knew what I needed to do. And that is, like I said, what I, what, what I feel has made me success, successful to this point is just surround myself with, with people that I trust that I know uh, can do the job and let them do, let, let them go. I mean, I'm, I'm really just there to uh, keep everyone on track um, and keep everyone, you know, headed towards, towards our ultimate uh, goal. 
Well, that's great advice, especially for independent filmmakers when, you know, a lot of pressure is on you. Uh, you got to wear many hats, of course, as a director. But it's uh, I think it's valuable advice to say, let go a little bit. Trust your cast and crew. Things will ultimately get done. Um, well, so what are you working on now? Do you have any other shorts in the works? Well, as you mentioned, I'm part of Alamo Film Group. Um, Alamo Film Group is actually a 5013C not for profit organization here in San Antonio. Uh, we promote filmmaking it for the San Antonio area. So we're kind of like a hub for filmmakers. Uh, so there's a lot of projects going on. We, we help filmmakers uh, get together. We're, we're a resource uh, where they need help. We're there to help them get their projects going. Uh, we do our own projects, of course, like the 48. Um, we have a, a um, another project that we do a, a script to screen contest that that we we uh, promote. Um, so yeah, there's a, a a lot of a lot going on. I am uh, thankful for the opportunity to uh, work with such great people, and uh, it, it's just it's just uh, a lot of fun for me personally, and uh, and I'm glad to to be a part of it. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah, it sounds like a, a great group and a great resource. And um, uh, you said you're San Antonio based? Correct. Okay, great. Well, so you'll be able to uh, represent that and make some connections at this coming film festival. Absolutely. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add about Hot Mess Academy? Um, well, if, if you're in the area and if you haven't got your tickets already, from what I understand, there weren't very many left. So, so get online and get your tickets uh, while you can. And I hope to, to be out there um, well, I am. I already got my ticket. So Excellent. I'm looking forward to, to meeting people, like you said, network with people. And uh, yeah, just uh, meet my fellow filmmakers and, and just uh, hope for a, uh, a good response to the, to the film. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great short and I'm looking forward to uh, watching it along with everybody else. Excellent. That's the great attitude. Perfect uh, for going into the film festival. And I think it's going to do great. Uh, you keep uh, a very nice pace. The comedy is all the way up here the whole time. I think people are going to love it and maybe even relate a little bit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Arthur, thank you so much. And I hope to see more from you soon. Thank you again for having me. My pleasure. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.